Hello everyone! And welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. This time we will talk about the UV map features that we have recently added to Maverick, and their use with displacement mapping. We will use a material that we downloaded from Substance Source as an example. We picked this facade material, for which the size is 5 by 5 meters as we can see here. We will download the material and open it up on Substance Player. There we will change the Substance's preset and the resolution to 4K. Then we will export its bitmaps by picking a path, a file format, and toggling the outputs we are interested in. Keep in mind that Maverick uses the metallic roughness model by default, so we toggled those outputs accordingly. Now let's go back to Maverick where we have a simple scene with a vertical plane wall. Let's use Maverick's PBR material importer to automatically load the maps we just exported from Substance Player. To this end we pick either one of the maps. Our importer will pull all the other maps automatically. Don't forget to check the material model and the material source before you go ahead and import. Here we have our material in the scene list. Let's apply it to the plane. As you may know from previous videos, now Maverick Materials feature a new roll-up with options for UV mapping, where you can easily control the size and placement of the materials maps. For this example, we might select planar projection with Y alignment, and a real size of 500 cm as we remarked earlier. But in Maverick, displacement is an object property and hence it is not affected by the UV mapping attributes of the material. So we need to select the plane and then create a new UV map modifier. It is on the newly created UV map modifier that we must set the projection and alignment. We will set a real size of 500 cm and that's it. By using the move tool or the keyboard shortcut W we can easily move the gizmo. Let's hide the UV map gizmo for now and let's apply displacement to our plane. When applying displacement to a rather large object as in this case, it is convenient to think ahead in terms of refinement options. It is often a good idea to change the refinement threshold from millimeters to screen pixels to avoid the creation of too many small micro triangles. Now we will select our plane, right click on our height map, and select apply this map as displacement. With double click we will access the displacement options, where we can configure the actual height. 50 cm look fine for this example. Now let's play a bit with our scene's lighting by dropping a skylit ambience. We can rotate the environment with Control shift right mouse button. Let's fine tune auto bump to our liking. As you may know, auto bump provides a convenient interactive way to enhance fine displacement details. Let's go back to the UV map modifier and see how it affects displacement. Let's unhide and move its gizmo. As you can see the material maps slide, but displacement does not because it is an object geometry feature. Displacement needs to be explicitly updated from the main toolbar. Let's move the gizmo around a bit more and update displacement. Let's reset the UV map to where it was before. We select the UV map modifier, hit fit to object and set the real size to 500 cm. And then we commit the changes by updating displacement. We have added some more new features to the Maverick views. Let's bring up a view panel. There are some new options to display a wireframe overlay, the albedos, the UVS. The wireframe overlay comes handy to asses the amount of tessellation produced by displacement. We can also press info on the top of the view and get the object size and geometry weight.
It would be smart to use adaptive displacement on this example since our height map features many flat areas. As you can see details are captured better now. Thanks to some more intelligently distributed polygons. It is important to remark that displacement refines geometry within the frustum of the camera in its saved state. If we save the camera and update displacement, polygons are only tessellated within the camera's space. Now for a final quality render. We could afford to set the max length threshold to 1 on the globals panel. As a summary for this video, keep in mind that displacement must be updated explicitly when the UV map gizmo or settings change. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.